before I get into it. My editing software is really busted. I don't know what's happening with it. So I will have to rush through this. Hopefully fast, quick, no stupid stuttering. Just here we go. CS2. I have a big, big problem with it. And I don't like the fact that the community is sort of silent about it right now. Yes, we have the people who complain about subtick system, which to be honest is really bad on its own. And I really don't think that me complaining about it will do it justice because there are people who are more professional, who take the game more seriously, who definitely can tell you more about like, why is it broken and all the problems. But I will tell you this one thing, and that is the subtick system for some reason impacts the movement as well. I don't know if you guys had this where it will force you to move or even force you to shoot an additional shot which you didn't shoot for some reason. Probably it's sort of trying to compensate for a communication issue. I have no idea, but definitely not ping related, definitely not network related. So it is a big problem. Hopefully it will be fixed. But my main complaint that I don't see people talking about is this. You know, the moment you, first of all, the moment you criticize CS2 right now, people come at you with, oh, you're just a hater, you don't understand. <laughs> Excuse me, how can you call this game complete, first of all, and a good release? Second, this is an open beta still at best. And simply put, I will tell you why. <laughs> Half of the maps are gone. Where is demolition? Where is arms race? Where is retake? Where is unranked? Of course, okay, short matches are gone. I guess they balance it with the new system, which it's, you know, you like it or you hate it. There's no in between, I feel like. Then, of course, Flying Scoutsman is not there. Basically, the game modes are not there. The casual stuff is gone. You only have competitive, which is limited to the beta map still. So, so stupid. And wingman is just in an abysmal state you have four maps have fun assholes have fun and people still tell you oh what's the problem with cs2 gee i wonder why why we have a problem with it maybe because you replace csgo yeah with cs2 but what happens is you actually downgrade everything everything but the graphics good job valve the graphics looks nice although half of the skins look like shit now and for some reason some of the skins especially you can check out the dragon lore look like they have a thick layer of dust on them as if they were sitting in my grandma's attic for the past 20 years i have no idea what is happening with that and probably by the time they will get to fixing that it will be 2025 <laughs> because they need to fix the subtick system they need to fix their stupid servers, which also, come on, first day. Did any of you get to play a competitive game first day? I had to wait an hour in queue and I couldn't find a game. And I was like, okay, screw this. This is not happening. And now we don't have uh, a live replay of our matches. So you can finish a competitive, try this, finish a competitive, and then try to look up your replay. It's not there. You know why? Because their servers suck ass. They couldn't adapt their servers in time. This is this is insane. And people tell you, oh no, give them time, they will fix it. Dude, they could have said, give us five more months. We're gonna release the game in a finished state. They were the ones to say summer 2023. If you say summer 2023 and not deliver, is that my problem? No, it is not my problem, it is yours. If you remove my game to sort of upgrade it, and then you have half of the things missing, and what was there already broken, you know, the 64 ticks were much, much better compared to the sub thing, sub tick system where you literally, I guess, don't even have one tick in this whole thing. I am so tired of this. Look, I like CS. I hate to admit it, but CSGO was my favorite game. I always return to it. In all of the stages of my life, I return to that goddamn game, whether it was for skins, whether it was for the competitive, whether it was just to have fun with friends and like flying scoutsmen and whatnot, or the operations. But you 
try to take the next step. We are here to support you, but support doesn't mean closing your eyes and saying, oh yes, this is this is best game. This is best game. Half of the game is fucking not there, but this is the best game. This is not how you support a game. You need to be open about it. And you need to understand that if you don't speak about these issues, they will not be fixed. And people are not gonna play this. I'm just gonna give you, before I leave, I'm gonna give you a real life example. Every day, almost every day, I play CSGO with, now CS2, with my girlfriend and a friend of mine. While, you know, we used to play a lot, now that CS2 was out, we were hyped. And after these major issues with the tick system, with the lack of game modes, (laughs) with the lack of maps, what ended up happening is that my friend is not going to be playing this game until at the very least, and this is the bare minimum, they fix this stupid subtick system. That's the bare minimum, you know, and to people who like, just look at it this way. CS2 brought one thing and one thing only to every single one of you. And that is just better graphics. And to that, I would like to ask you one question. Was CSGO really bad? Were the graphics really bad when you think about it? I would say that some of the skins and some of the things looked better in CSGO even. But of course, that's an artistic choice. It's a preference of yours. But don't forget this, that CSGO never really needed better graphics. All it needed was some gameplay improvements. And when you bring out CS2, currently the only thing you have is that you have graphical improvements and for some reason at the beginning of the match and in half times and at the end we have to give this Albert the new local boy band pose. For some stupid reason we have this instead of having a properly fixed game system. Good job. Really the only thing I will say to Valve is don't feel that you're under time pressure. You have to take your time to finish your games. We understand this. You are methodical. You usually delay stuff and deliver them once they're finished. This doesn't look like what you would do. I guess you trapped yourself by saying summer 2023, but you could have just told us, hey guys, we are so sorry. We goofed it up. We need more time. And you know, yeah, a bit of the hype would have died, but I'm ready to bet that more people will leave this game because of the current state and the fact that they're locked out of a lot of things that they liked and enjoyed than if you would have just been honest with us. But that's just me. Anyways, I am so sorry. I really had to get this out of my chest because I'm so pissed off at seeing people just take no criticism whatsoever and just justify this with, oh, they're going to patch it later. They're going to patch it later. It's going to take them. And I I am ready to bet my ass. It's going to take them till the end of this year to fix the subtick system. And don't forget that there are problems with the skins. There are problems with the stickers. Game modes are missing. Maps are missing. Probably they will have to also bring an operation out. When are they going to do this? Aren't you guys tired of just having to wait? What are you going to do in between? They literally took your working game and just replaced it with half of that game. But now it's shiny and everything looks like it has been in the fucking ceiling attic for the past 20 years, all dusty and stuff. Is this really a win? Is this really what you wanted? I don't think so. And you should be open about it. And people should talk about it. Otherwise, Valve will not see the problem and will not fix it properly, or at least in time. Anyways, thank you for listening to my stupid ramblings. (laughs) And see you never. Goodbye.